It started as nothing more than a flicker, barely audible in the data. A cold, silent speck moving far faster than anything that ought to have been out there. Observatories from Hawaii to South Africa picked it up first, their alerts flooding. And nearly simultaneously before NASA stepped forward to confirm it, an object ton registered. Unknown and, most alarmingly, emanating from outside our solar system. At first glance, it looked like just another rock, a wandering, void-bound traveler. But then the anomalies began to stack up. Its velocity was off the charts, its path unnervingly precise, and its surface reflected light in ways no asteroid ever could. When scientists traced its route backward through the darkness, they realized it wasn't just passing through. It was heading straight for the vital organ of our planetary neighborhood. The James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward it, and it began to reveal something unprecedented, something we may not have anticipated. Because it wasn't just a visitor, it might be something watching us, potentially shifting the entire definition of deep space forever. Between June 25th and June 29th, the Atlas tracking system secured it, a mysterious interstellar object that would be named Three Atlas, unlike the numerous icy wanderers recorded over the years. Three Atlas defied every expectation. It was moving at 152,000 miles per hour, yet it followed no known orbital course. When its origin was backtracked, it didn't point to the Kuiper Belt or even the farthest reaches near Neptune. Instead, it came from deep interstellar space, a faraway region. It had probably been traveling through for millennia before entering our cosmic neighborhood. Dot. The timing was the first red flag. Before 2017, humanity had never detected an interstellar object. Since then, we've encountered three each stranger, faster and more perplexing than the last. In 2017, Aumuamua grew longer and moved at an unspecified rate. In 2019, Borisov was faster and more unstable. Three Atlas was brighter, more precise, and far more unsettling. The instruments used by James Webb began dissecting its light. Signature, but the data only deepened the mystery. The object's reflected brightness suggested it ought to be huge, but scans showed it was surprisingly small. This contradiction hinted at a surface unlike natural phenomena more akin to polished metal than rock. Yet not cold, highly reflective, and possibly even hollow. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who widely believed Aumuamua could have been artificial, immediately raised the same concern here. Look for acceleration not caused by gravity, he urged, because if it were moving with intent, that indicated purpose. Three Atlas appeared from the beginning to be a cosmic hybrid. Combining Amumua's inexplicable acceleration with the comet-like inbound trajectory of Borisov. Yet fitting neatly into neither category, its motion was intentional, almost surgical. It didn't tumble chaotically like a natural fragment rotated with unnerving symmetry, one side consistently absorbing more heat than the other, as if it had a thermal shield deliberately engineered for protection. Webb's sensitive thermal. Sensors detected a faint, constant signature structured, not random. Then came the most unsettling discovery. It was adjusting its course in small, precise increments without any detectable jets of gas, dust, or debris that would explain such changes. This wasn't a drifting rock nudged by sunlight. This was something directed analysis of the spectrum from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center shattered any remaining assumptions. The readings showed carbon-based compounds and arrangements more in line with advanced engineering than natural geology. Complex electromagnetic fluctuations hinted at internal compartments or layered structures hidden beneath its surface. Okay. This was no mere lump of cosmic debris. This was a machine, and if it was a machine, it meant it had a maker dot. At this stage, whispers began circulating among scientists worldwide not about its nature, but about who sent it and why. Then, suddenly, the stream of information was cut off. 
Agencies that had been sharing updates NASA, the European Space Agency, abruptly encrypted their data within closed networks. Open source databases froze, observation logs went dark, and even telescope access for independent researchers began encountering technical restrictions. Reporters seeking answers were met with redacted documents and carefully crafted. Statements that seemed more like damage control than science, this sudden blackout ignited a new theory. Something had been discovered. Something too disruptive to release without careful consideration. In space, silence can be more revealing than any official declaration. If 3 Atlas was indeed artificial, its existence could pose a threat to astronomy, politics, global security, and humanity's understanding of its place in the cosmos. The stars in the night sky had seemed vast, indifferent, and empty. Now, over a few years, they seemed crowded with visitors arriving with purpose in the shadows. A few scientists speculated about patterns. Three interstellar objects in under a decade, each stranger than the last. Was this a fluke or part of a deliberate slow plan? And if so, was this the first phase or the final one? As James Webb continued its silent vigil, a darker, more unsettling hypothesis established itself among those still analyzing the scraps of data. What if 3 Atlas wasn't merely passing through? What if it had been waiting, triggered to become? Detectable only after humanity reached a certain technological threshold. Its arrival at this precise moment in our advancement seemed too perfect to dismiss. For billions of years, the galaxy had been silent. Then, almost immediately after we developed tools capable of deep object detection, something appeared in the void quiet, deliberate, and impossibly precise. This didn't feel like a message. Felt like an evaluation, a probe, not here to communicate but to observe, perhaps even to judge. The more data Webb collected, the more questions replaced. Answers. Was it mapping our planets, studying our defenses, or simply watching to see what we would do? The thought that chilled scientists the most wasn't that we had made a discovery. It was that something had discovered us and may have been anticipating this moment for a long time. As astrophysicists and engineers dug deeper into webs, high-resolution data, they noticed patterns that couldn't be dismissed as coincidence. Three ATLAS's reflective properties varied in a way that resembled adaptive shielding, capable of modifying its thermal signature in response to its orientation toward the sun. This wasn't random. It was controlled. A feat spacecraft designers worldwide spent decades perfecting. The object's rotation period was consistent, almost clockwork, suggesting a stabilization system at work. Perhaps gyroscopic in nature, hidden beneath its metallic shell. Even more concerning were brief bursts of electromagnetic emissions in the narrowband, pulsing at periodic intervals. To the uninitiated, they were noise. To experts, they bore a resemblance to data packets transmissions. But to whom or where? deeper the analysis, the more the distinction between natural and artificial blurred until the evidence tilted heavily toward the latter. That left one unavoidable reality. If 3 Atlas was built, it was built by something or someone out there. Tracking its trajectory backward through interstellar space proved challenging. But the effort yielded yet another layer of intrigue. It's Path didn't align with any known stellar system in our local neighborhood. As if it had been drifting or traversing unoccupied space for tens of thousands of years, with no home star, no apparent launch point, this raised an even stranger possibility. Three Atlas might not have been aimed at us at all, at least not originally. It could be part of a much larger network of probes launched into the galaxy long ago, silently cataloging every civilization they encountered. So, we weren't the only ones under the telescope. Every species with the means to spot such objects might already have received visits. And that begged the question, why reveal itself to us now? Was our discovery a cosmic accident, or had it been designed?
The timing gnawed at researchers because it seemed almost scripted, as if the universe or something within it had been waiting for the curtain to rise. Inside control rooms at space agencies and government labs, the discussion wasn't about. Whether Three Atlas existed was about what to do next. Some advocated for active scanning, sending a powerful laser or radar pulse in its direction, hoping for a response. Others warned that this could be catastrophic, likening it to shouting. Into a dark forest without knowing who or what was listening, the James Webb team, despite official neutrality, continued to push for silent observation, quietly mapping every subtle change in the object's speed, spin, and thermal output. Behind closed doors, a question loomed. Were we prepared for the repercussions of acknowledging its presence? And if it was already aware of us and intentionally watching, would any action we took make a difference? The tension was palpable. The wrong move could turn a silent observer into something far less passive. Then came the anomaly that fractured even the most cautious scientific minds. Early data from Webb's infrared instruments observed a faintly recurring heat fluctuation. So precise it formed a mathematical pattern, not random, but almost chaotic, like an encoded signal written in temperature variations. The sequence stood out, a signature based on numbers long considered a hallmark of an artificial source in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. If this was deliberate, then Three Atlas wasn't just observing, it was communicating, albeit in a language far subtler than radio waves. That realization sent a ripple of unease through every team still privy to the data. Because if the message was intentional, there was no denying it. Something out there knew we were watching. And it had chosen this exact moment to respond. In the end, as Three Atlas continued its unwavering journey through the depths of our solar system, the truth became impossible to ignore. This was no chance encounter. Whether a relic of an ancient civilization, technology older than humanity itself, or something beyond even our most advanced theories, one fact remained. It was here. It was deliberate, and it had chosen its moment with unnerving precision. The James Webb Space Telescope, designed to peer billions of years into the past, had forced us to confront the here and now encounter, not with distant galaxies, but with something sharing our present. For decades, we gazed into the void, believing ourselves the explorers, the seekers, the observers. But three Atlas inverted that perspective. Perhaps we were never truly alone. Perhaps we were never even the ones doing the watching. As governments locked away their data and the last trickle of information vanished behind classified walls, one question echoed louder than any other. If this was their introduction, what comes next? Ah, the scariest thing isn't that we've been found. It's that this might only be the beginning.